Good evening, Bat fans, and welcome to another episode of Under the Cow. Last week, we spoke about the best Bat film ever, and this week, we're going to be talking about the worst Bat film ever. And I know when I say that, a lot of you think, geez, the terrible Bat nipples. Now, trust me, we have yet to find out what the purpose is of those Bat nipples. Batman and Robin was directed to failure by Joel Shoemaker and written by Akiva Goldsman. Starring George Clooney as the worst Batman of all time, so instead of being the goat, he's like the boat. Well, the worst boat or sinking boat. I think you guys get the idea. Now, let me first say I'm appalled by the idea that they even think George Clooney would be able to grasp the idea of being the Dark Knight. The film was released in June 20th of 1997, making $238 million out of a budget of $160 million, making it a box office disappointment. This film was often considered to be the worst film ever made. It was also the lowest grossing Batman film that ever come out because of how poorly the movie did. Warner Brothers decided to cancel all future projects, including a new project that Shoemaker was working on, which was called Batman Unchained. The film went into production because of the box office success that Batman Forever had in 95 starring Val Kilmer. But because Val Kilmer didn't want to reprise his role as a Dark Knight, Shoemaker moved on to Clooney, which they should have just scrapped the whole project. I never really liked the transition from Kilmer's Batman to Clooney's Batman while maintaining Chris O'Donnell as Robin and both. It never really made much sense. Now, in an interview, Chris O'Donnell talked about his experience filming and how much sharper and focused and planned it was on set of Batman Forever and how filming Batman and Robin was more like filming a child's toy commercial. It was really just a joke, honestly. Now, Rotten Tomatoes gave the film a 12% acceptance rate, leaving them at a 3.8 out of 10. Audiences gave them a C plus on an A to F scale. Shoemaker blamed Warner Bros, stating that there was a lot of pressure from Warner Bros to make Batman and Robin a family-friendly film. In the end, after so many bad reviews and years of the entertainment industry taunting George Clooney for his terrible trash version of Batman, it's safe to say that this film has fallen in the number one spot for the worst movie of all times. Thank you for joining me, and that concludes tonight's episode of Under the Cowl, and I'm your host, Rudy Merced.